So the minute you walk into Gertzen Pottery, located at the Old Bag Factory in Goshen, Indiana, you're going to love it because it's an atmosphere that's filled with beauty and tons of creativity. Speaking of beauty and creativity, <laughs> Mark, thank you so much for being with us. You're the owner now, and you know what? Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a lot of history here in this place. And by the way, while we're talking, he's going to be creating something absolutely beautiful. Right. What, first of all, okay, what are, you, what are you making for us first? I think I'll try to make a picture. A picture. For... He's going to make a picture in like three minutes. I mean, I'm, it's so impressive. <laughs> but, but Mark, tell us you came here a couple of years ago, and you weren't intending to stay, but you found yourself at a place where you just couldn't leave. That's right, Kelly. If a couple of years ago it was 1989. 1989. <laughs> it was a little but, more than a couple of years ago. So but, you came in 1989? That's right. I, I grew up in central Kansas, and I came up here to work for the previous owner, Dick Lehman, for a year mm -hmm. and have stayed ever since and wound up buying the business about five and a half years ago. Great. And, and how have you seen it grown since you've, you've taken over? Well, you know, we all have our different ideas, and so my, my uh, style's a little bit different than Dick's, and yet um, the community around here has been very supportive, both when Dick was, was the owner and when I have. I changed a lot of, uh, a lot of the glazes and a little bit of the forms. Okay. Nope. I, I like it when the, the forms evolve over time. They're never going to be the same from, like, one year to the next, or at least from one, every 10 years to the next. Now, how did you get started in pottery? Because you are making this seem so easy, and I know it's not quite that simple, is it? It's not. I took a, <laughs> <laughs> I took a class in college to get rid of a liberal arts uh, requirement, mm -hmm. and I got hooked. Um, and so uh, I wasn't this good, obviously, at that point. Uh, I now have hundreds of thousands of pots underneath my fingertips. So, uh, so I have had a lot of practice. What made you fall in love with it? Because, I mean, again, it's not that simple. I think I took this class in high school and failed. <laughs> I'm pretty <laughs> sure that I did. But what made you fall in love with uh, it? I really like the, f uh, it might sound strange, but I really like the feel of the clay and how it, uh, how it can move and, and uh, respond to my fingertips. And I think that was the, the first t thing that I really fell in love with was, you know, it's really cool to make something, mm -hmm. like a mug to give to your mother. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but it went, it went beyond that. I really started uh, staying in the library, looking at forms and seeing what I could make mm -hmm. and things like that. Now, is everything that you make, of course, unique to something? Do you kind of look at the clay and does it speak to you? Or how, how do you kind of figure out what you're going to make? Most of the time, uh, we have things that we are short of on out in the showroom, okay. so I'm, I'm making that. In February, I always give myself permission to make what I want to make, and that sometimes uh, evolves to more ideas to put out in the showroom as far as product. So, that's and so now you also can make custom-made pieces for those people that have an idea of something that they'd like. That's right. I, I do make custom pieces. It, it, uh, if, if I think I can make it, we will come to an agreement on glaze color and things like that and, and the price, yeah. Can I just touch it? Or you, just, you don't want me to touch it at all, do you? Just it's a, stay it's, off, Kelly. Just don't <laughs> touch it at all. You can touch it, but it's rather soft. Oh, is it? Okay. Wow. Okay, fix it there because I messed it up. For yeah, you, you can push no, it a little bit. I can. And yeah. then, and then you just right now this is ready to go in the oven. No. You don't call it an oven. What do you call it? A kiln. A kiln. Okay. Yeah. It's not ready yet. No. This is. Uh, this would explode in the kiln right now. Ooh, you wouldn't want that. <laughs> okay. Uh, there, it has to dry out all the way uh, completely before we put it in the kiln. Okay. See, I told you I failed that class in, in high school. <laughs> but um, but we're actually going to get ready to see the showroom because you have absolutely beautiful pieces in there. And, um, and I think Rick is going to be meeting us in that showroom. And Great. we're going to let that dry because we wouldn't want it to explode on the show. Let it dry. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Our 
All right, Mark, so here we are. We're in the showroom. This is where people can come in and buy the merchandise that we just saw you making with Kelly. And this is kind of what you were working on here was one of the pictures, right? That's right, that's right. So we obviously have different colors that we can do for people. Um, we have about, oh, 15 to 20 uh, regular glazes sure. that we use. I, so, um, so we usually can find people's color scheme if they want. Yeah, they, yeah. they can custom order too. They can tell what they're looking yes, for. Yes, yes. If uh, if there's a color they want, we can see whether we have it, yeah. or or a little bit different shape, we can do that. I like as well. this one. I, I do uh -huh. like that one. That we'll one, wrap like it up one. for you later. There you go. Very <laughs> cool, very cool. And you've got all kinds of stuff. Uh -huh. I mean, not just pictures and bowls here, but you've got a little bit of all kinds of lamps. I mean. Right, we have over 70 different products sure. here, so you can usually find what you're looking for. And I mean, food looks so good. Out oh, of homemade out of these? pottery. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Like, so, man, look, we can make cookies right now, right? That's right. <laughs> oh, that's, that's awesome. Right. Come prepared. Mm -hmm. But you know what's cool about this place is we can actually, people are allowed to kind of come back and mm -hmm. when you're doing the whole spinning. Right. So to you can it. come in and, and, uh, and actually talk to the artist, which is me or, or Brittany, who's helping me at, the, at this point. And uh, so you can see what we're doing, sure. or we can also help you out here in the showroom. We do both things. That's the so, way to do it, too. Yeah. Plus, you get to meet the guy that's making it. That's right. That's well, it. That's right. Your sure. bonus is that's meeting bonus. me. Yeah, you're the man. You're the man. <laughs> hey, let's go take a look around. Okay. All right, cool. We've had a chance to see a lot of stuff here, mm -hmm. from the lamps to the soap dispensers to the coffee mugs to, what is this, a brie baker? Brie baker. That's what yeah. that is. I even like dip, got dips the, and spreads. You even got these here. Yeah. I know you don't make these here, but that's such a nice touch. Mm -hmm. And then the jam jars or jam mm -hmm. dispensers and just a little bit of everything here, man. That's right. I love and this place. That's right. We also make custom dinnerware for and uh, things if you want, you know, if, if you want to have uh, wedding gifts. Oh, yeah. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Yep. Gift that lasts a lifetime. <laughs> That's right. Uh, but even some of the finer stuff, I mean, you've got all kinds of stuff here in your right. show. We mm -hmm. have one-of-a-kind pieces. Yeah, so a lot of functional to one-of-a-kind. You can probably find it here if you're looking for pottery. Speaking of finding you, mm -hmm. where are we again? We're at the old back factory in Goshen, Indiana. There you go. And you can also find me at GertsonPottery.com. Yes. And we're open 9 to 5, Monday through Saturday. And Gertson, uh, you know, you guys, obviously you're opening your doors up to us, but you open the doors up to the public. And when you are doing your spinning on the pottery and the wheels and yeah, everything, so yeah, more than welcome to come out You're more than welcome to come into the studio. That's cool. Uh, it's very therapeutic, by the way. The wheel spins around, and his hands are in there, and the <laughs> thing is, just comes out of nowhere. It's really cool. Well, you might also catch us on a glazing day, which is also ha uh, fun to see as well. Now, do you ever let people jump in on that? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> Sorry, man. But yeah, yeah, and then everything goes through that two-cycle process through the kiln and all that. And that's right. Yeah. So, so it's usually it's all done about here. that's right. It's all done here, that's and right. you know, from start to finish. There you go. Thank you so much for your mm -hmm. time and letting us You're in. You're welcome. In. Thanks for and, coming. Uh, yeah, this is really cool. You know, we, we love art, so you are right. definitely doing it. You're making a career out of it. Well, Very let cool. me show you something else. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so Mark's giving us the full tour here. You got to play on the pottery. By the way, her hair is clean, no clay. Yeah, yeah, Great. no, Mark wouldn't let me touch anything. No. But you know what? He is amazing at what he does. Yes, and, absolutely. And just, just, a, just a wonderful artist. And speaking of artists, we're headed over to Elkhart to find out about For the Love of Art Fair. And do you think they'll let me paint there, maybe? 